icons are really important in your design work, especially if you're working for the web or for the mobile apps, because with icons you can represent more than just with a basic text, and that's why designers are using them more and more in the latest years. So to get these free icons, you can go to material.io, which is the Google's own. So same like the Google fonts in the previous video, they have this materialdesign.io, which is their basically material design style of design of their apps and of their uh, Android operating system. So you can download and use these icons free of charge and you can use them for both personal and commercial use because they are open source, as you can see right here. Just don't try to sell them because you don't want Google to sue you. <laughs> That's really the last thing you want to do. So basically how you can use them, you can simply click on any of these icons and you can download it. You can sort them out by uh, field, outlined, rounded, two-tone and sharp. And you can use any of them. So for example, this field, I can simply click and it will show me right here. I can download it as an SVG and I can expand this uh, to learn more and I can include it to be white or to be black. You can change this uh, however you want. You can select it for iOS or Android or use these DP uh, functions. And you can see this as an icon font, how you can use it in your code. And you can choose if you want to download it as an SVG or as a PNG. I will always recommend that you download and use them as SVGs because SVG is a vector file format, while PNG is going to lose quality when you upload it to the web or if you use it uh, in your mobile design work. So basically you can download it as an SVG, it will not lose quality and you can scale it up or down as much as you want and you can even go inside and tweak this icon a little bit so you can see these arrows for example if you don't want th those arrows for whatever reason you can delete them and you will just be left with this 3d text next resource is box icons and you can see it's basically the same thing you can click on one of these icons you can download it as a PNG, you can use uh, an HTML code, and you can download SVG. Once again, I would recommend that you use them as an SVG, and you can see it as a web, web component because these box icons are created uh, to use for the web, and you can download uh, these icons separately. You can download this version and you will have it as a web font, and you can then use it as a web font with all of these icons included inside. But as always, I will not recommend it, especially with um, these uh, large icon collections because as you can see it will take a while for you to to find which icon you want if you download it but right here you can click search and you can type for example profile you can hit enter or return and it will show you all of these icons for the profile and you can uh, use them from here or better yet click right here type in profile or person and you can see right here those icons. Next, we are back on Creative Market and you can uh, click this get free goods, same like I showed you for the fonts and sometimes you can find uh, some cool free icons right here and you can use them um, in your work. And finally, we have uh, design free by freebies from UI8.net and you can visit this website. They are basically the same thing as Creative Market. They are selling premium resources for designers, but they have this freebies section. And you can see at the moment, they have 344 design freebies. You can see all of these different UI kits, mockups and so on. But because we, in this video, we are talking about icons, you can see this uh, icon collection right here. For example, you can use these Halloween icons and you can scroll down and see uh, all of the different icons that they have. They even have some illustrations and so on and so forth. So you can use all of these different resources in your work. In the next video, we're going to talk about illustrations, where you can find them and how you can use them inside Adobe XD. So I'll see you there.